Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Wednesday, woo, Thanksgiving Eve. Um, I hope you're all having a spectacular day today. Um, I am I am super excited to be here today. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on in the world. You know, I won't rehash what's happening, but you know, it's kind of a crazy time right now. So I am thankful um, as I think about Thanksgiving and all that that means. I am very thankful to have you all, to have a space where I can just come on and talk about whatever I want to talk about. People can choose to listen or choose not to listen. Um, I'm just really excited that um, I have an opportunity to, you know, talk to you all every week. And um, I thank you for being here. So I know I um, normally this time of year, we are up north and we decided because of COVID to stay here. And so, you know, so you get more of me, you get me at home and uh, like usual. And then this weekend, we're going to have some fun with a card party. So um so I'll back up and say, if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome to Wednesday Woo at two. Uh, I'm Mel Morris. And uh, this week we are going to continue our journey through the tarot. And so what we've been doing is um, starting from the uh, with the major arcana cards in the tarot and uh, kind of going through what these life lessons are, <clears throat> excuse me, that we can learn from them. So, you know, as we this week, as I think about, um, you know, again, Thanksgiving and families and having the opportunity to be together, um, it was kind of fitting that we um, as we talk, as I you know get ready to jump into the cards that we have this week. Um, which you may have seen on our um, Tarot Tuesday post yesterday. Um, this is the week in the Major Arcana where we do start um, to meet with other people. We are introduced to, um, for the first time, the energy of what it's like to think about ourselves in the context of beyond ourselves, right? Around other people, with others. So, um, you know, I think about this time of year and again, you know, families and kind of cooler weather if you're, you know, well, we live in the South, so that's a little bit relative, but um, just the idea of kind of people coming together, making decisions about, um, you know, happiness as a unit, ways that we can, you know, enjoy one another and be around each other. And I know <laughs> it's tricky this year because, Again, a lot of us cannot be with our loved ones, with our families like we normally would, but that's the beauty of technology and the things that we have available to us um, these days is that, you know, I'm going to be video calling with my girls tomorrow and, um, you know, we'll be chatting and, you know, you know, trying to recreate as best we can um, kind of um, what we would be doing in person. And we'll, you know, it's not going to be the same, but there will come a time when we're able to all be together. But right now I'd rather us all be safe. And I ask that you all be safe no matter what you're doing. And so, um, just keep that in mind. So, um, I am, <clears throat> excuse me, getting the same message that I get sometimes. Um, from this software that I use that doesn't want to always show me people's names. So um, I see somebody popped on and gave me a cute little smiley face with hearts. Hello, whoever you are. I'd love that if you have a question or if you want to put any comments in that you go ahead and um, pop your name in first because randomly sometimes, oh, hey, boo, it's you. Um, sometimes I can't see who it is. Fortunately, um, the lovely Janelle is online and is helping me out here by putting in the highs to everybody. So, hey, boo. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Um, so as I mentioned, and if you didn't get a chance to look at yesterday's um, posting for Tarot Tuesdays about the cards that we have um, 
this week, this week we have moved into, so we started as the fool, right? Our journey is the fool of knowing, of knowing that we are kind of starting our lives, starting this journey um, brand new, right? With little to no baggage. And we've been steadily moving through meeting different um, teachers, if you will, which are represented within the major arcana cards. So we ended off last week meeting the Hierophant, which is um, kind of that embodiment of, oh, I see Vicky's here too. Hey, Vicky. Um, so I see, um, I'm sorry. So the Hierophant is um, all about creating that kind of um, spiritual structure, right? That um, that we need sometimes religion, sometimes, again, just a practice of kind of self-care as it relates to us connecting with our higher selves, connecting with, you know, that which is bigger than us, however you identify that. It's about uh, creating those structures so that we have something to kind of always come back to, um, to center ourselves and to ground ourselves. So that was the Hierophant. We left off with um, him last week. And so this week, we start, um, as I mentioned in the beginning, we start with connecting with, for the first time, energy of thinking about other people in the lover's card. So let me bring my fancy other graphic up so you can see the lovers while I talk about it. And so I'm going to um, give you a second first to kind of look at the card for yourself. Um, so if you didn't get a chance to see it earlier in the week, um, this deck, um, let me take this uh, off the screen for a minute. This deck is um, a little interesting. It's a little, um, some of the images are not what you would see in the traditional decks, which is okay. You know, it's fine. Um, and I'll talk more about it when we before we end here, because we'll have some changes a little bit for next week. But so now we meet the lover's energy, right? And so I'd love for you to just kind of take a look at the card, see what you see, see what kind of jumps out at you, what you connect with um, in the energy. I'll switch me back so you can see me. Ta -da! And so the lover's again, is this first time that we really have the opportunity to think about ourselves in context of other people. And so, I'm sorry, I got two screens going on here and one wants to be weird. So um, the lovers is about who we are with other people, right? So before now we were really kind of learning ourselves, getting to know who we are as individuals, um, and creating structures around um, being our best selves. When we meet the lover's card, this is really the time, the energy where we are suddenly now realizing that there are others around us and that we are either attracted to other people, not, not necessarily just in a kind of physical relationship way. Um, certainly that's a possibility. But the idea that we have to start thinking about ourselves and making choices for our lives as it relates to these relationships that we have. Okay. So let's say that you, um, you meet someone that, you know, in this instance, this is, you know, like a, a um, uh, I, you know, a hand, I don't know why I'm losing words today, like a hand tying or, uh, marriage like ceremony that's happening between two people, right? Who have fallen in love. They made this choice. Um, lover's card is very much about choice. They made this choice to consciously be together and celebrate that and create um, uh, a structure of their own within this marriage or solidified relationship, right? So the lesson that we are getting from the lover's card is about making connections. Now that we've kind of learned about ourselves, how do we, how do we change that energy? How do we grow with other people, right? Whether it's a relationship like you see here, or whether it's a friendship, whether um, even with our children, you know, if we choose to have children, 
how do we engage with them? How do we interact with them? How do we make choices that are no longer just for ourselves, but for the people that we choose to be around? And so if anyone, um, I'm going to check over here in the comments to see if anybody had any questions or any kind of like, oh, you know, I saw this beautiful thing, feel free to pop it in. Um, but yeah, so, you know, this is, again, when we are thinking about um, connecting with other people um, as we're creating, um, you know, this is also a time where we're connecting that spiritual um, structure that we learned from the Hierophant last week, right? We're, again, merging that together with other people. And so now we're really fully building our value system, our core beliefs, um, all of those things are kind of um, coming into place now once we meet with the lover's card. Okay. So next, let me make sure. I said hi to Vicky. I said hey to Boo. Great. Um, so let me switch over. Camera, camera, camera. I need like my own camera person so that it's not just me. Um, okay. So that's the lover's card. So we learn that we're able to make connections, that we're able to we're able to build and grow our value systems, our beliefs in the context of community and beyond. And nope, go on. That's Adele wanting to join the party. Um, and so as we learn that lesson and we continue down the road, next we meet uh, the chariot. And I'll put the chariot here. So you can see the chariots image. And again, this in this particular deck, um, these images look a little bit different than they do in other decks, but the messaging is still the same. So the chariot now is about avoiding, not avoiding, but moving on from distraction. And I'll put myself back up on the screen. Do, do, do. Boom, here I am. So the chariot is, it's about, okay, so now we've created these structures spiritually. Um, we've moved them in with the lovers to create our value systems, our belief systems. We're growing forward within community. And a lot of times, especially when, you know, we were in the lover space and, you know, if you're in love and you meet somebody and, oh, it's beautiful and wonderful, um, we kind of get stuck there or we can decide that, like, this is so wonderful. I don't want to leave this space. Right. Um, but we have to. Right. The chariot tells us that, like, OK, you put all this shit together for a reason. It's time to start moving forward. Right. So in this particular deck, there's, um, you know, you see the image there of um, like this lotus flower, which kind of rep represents our seventh chakra and our intuition is really driving um, us moving forward, how we're choosing to move forward and kind of going at a steady clip. Right. And, you know, keeping in mind that even though you've created these structures, you've created these systems, now you're doing great, you're incorporating other people. Now you really have to move. You can't just stay where you were. You have to trust that you've created something solid, that you've created something meaningful, and now move with it, right? Now, now those choices aren't, how am I going to maneuver in the world? The choice now is, how do I move faster? How do I really roll this out, right? Doing it. So we're not talking about it anymore. Now this is about movement. Make a choice, go with it, right? Often we get really stuck in making choices. We're not sure where it's going to go, but if you don't go one way or the other, you're not going to get anywhere, right? So the chariot's message really is just take a move, right? Just start moving. Just start the process of doing what your intuition has been telling you to do. You have the ability, you have the strength, you have all the pieces that you need. Just start moving. Right. Um, and again, this is 
in the context now of it's not just about us individually, it's about our community and kind of the greater good for, you know, humankind, not just us anymore, right? And needing to take um, those leaps. And you can kind of see that in this card as it shows like the world underneath and, you know, moving forward. So let me do, 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 move to the next one. All right. Um, where's my camera? There it is. Okay. So I'm going to come back to me. So yeah. So the chariot is, again, you're taking movement. You are choosing a direction and you're kind of going with it. You're making sure that um, you don't just stay stuck anymore. And this is really, again, like an external uh, movement. Because now, once we start moving, we've learned this lesson. So now we're rolling, rolling, rolling. And then we come upon the last, for this week, um, the last teacher, if you will. And now we uh, meet the strength card, right? And the energy of strength. And, you know, strength, as you can I mean, as its name implies, certainly is about having strength, having courage, having all of those pieces. But more importantly, strength is really about taming our own kind of inner beast uh, in, in multiple ways. Let me put myself back on screen. Great. Um, so the strength card, you know, a lot of people will see this card or variations of it in the deck and they kind of focus on the lion and in some of the decks, the lion's much more prominent. Um, but really the strength, um, the image of the strength that is most meaningful is, you know, the person, the woman in, in this card, she really is the embodiment of what strength is, right? So it's about harnessing that inner, um, whether it's the, the wild, crazy side, kind of taming that, um, or whether it's the fear that can come from, again, that movement that we've been taking, right? So strength really is about creating, um, creating, understanding our personal power, right? And being able to tame whatever comes up within us as we start making these movements and changes as we move forward, right? Because, you know, let's be honest, it's not easy to put yourself out there, right? There are a lot of people, I'm, you know, slightly more extroverted than introverted. So for me to come on camera even and to do videos and talk to people is much easier than someone who is kind of naturally an introvert, right? So it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of um, courage and personal willpower to put yourself out there, right? Just as something as simple as doing videos for you know social media. Um, now grow that times a thousand into you know the rest of the world, the choices that we're making in our lives, and you know strength is finding ways to not just convince ourselves to move forward and to be strong in our actions, but also, you know, others. So again, in this particular image, you see the woman in the card and she has tamed this lion that we traditionally think of as this ferocious beast, right? But she has learned to also persuade and use her inner courage. I, I don't want to use the word strength as the card is strength, but her inner courage and willpower, she's used that to also tame this ferocious lion. Right. And so again, that the, the lesson here from the strength card is still about taking action, but this is more about our internal actions and finding the willpower within ourselves to continue to move forward. And, you know, just as we saw in the chariot, I can kind of smush these together. Um, just as we saw in the chariot, you know, there is this kind of um, wildness to both of the cards. One is, you know, more active, one is a little more calmed down, but it both of them really kind of show that our 
you know, we have the ability, we have both of these sides. Most of these cards are very dual, dualistic, right? Um, projective, receptive energies, as we talked about masculine, feminine energies, right? There, it ultimately the tarot wants us to remember that you, we have to always look for ways to be balanced, to find balance in our lives and as we move forward. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you about these cards. Um, you know, again, these three in particular, well, I can't get three of them on screen. Let me move to just me. You know, this week in the context of where we are, um, and the context of the world, the context of, you know, being around people and missing people and loving people and whatnot. Um, you know, I really encourage people to, you know, again, really the first card, really the lover's card, really focus on the fact that the choices that we're making don't just affect us as individuals. They affect the people that we love, the people you know, people all over the world, um, you know, it, it matters the choices that we make. And so if we're going to be thankful, be thankful that we have the opportunity to be around, um, you know, hopefully next year for Thanksgiving to, uh, you know, connect with people and be around people. Um, the other two cards, again, I would just say the, the messages to remember to kind of take forward there again, are, are this idea of taking action, moving forward, and just being mindful, connecting with your intuition um, to make sure that you're making the choices um, that you need to, to really move you forward, and that you are remembering your own personal inner strength as you make those choices. So uh, that's it for me this, uh, this Wednesday. I won't say this week because Friday is our card party. So I know that a lot of people, um, so now we only have our Wednesdays within the group, so it's kind of smaller. So I definitely would encourage you all, if you're interested in having me pull a card for you on Friday for our card party, which happens the last Friday of each month, um, I definitely encourage you to either um, get online early and ask your question, or if you want to send a question um, in advance, or you want me to pull a card for something, you can do that. You can post it here. You can send me a message either way, um, but definitely make sure to uh, join me and the larger audience on Friday uh, for our card party during uh, Friend Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So Thanks for checking me out. I hope you have a spectacular Thanksgiving. I hope that you have a spectacular um, Indigenous Peoples Day on Friday. Um, if you celebrate there or you know someone who does, um, again, be thankful for who you have. And uh, I'll see you all on Friday. Stay magical.